Hey guys, this is Brian from Fantasy Labs. In this video, I'm going to run through the new NFL correlations page. Uh, as you can see here right on the first page, we have our position correlations. Uh, and this is uh, how correlated each position is to a different position. Uh, you see a bunch of numbers here. That represents the R squared value, which is the correlation coefficient. Uh, it is a number between zero and one. Uh, it could also be uh, zero and negative one. Uh, and it shows how correlated two positions are. Zero means no correlation. So we, we see some uh, positions that have uh, almost no correlation. Um, and then one is the most, uh, is, is a perfect correlation. Uh, you can see here there's a perfect one going down on, on the right, uh, which makes sense because those are the same positions. Uh, but yeah, so th this shows exactly how correlated in terms of fantasy points uh, two positions are. Uh, and the, the results, uh, some of them definitely make sense with uh, uh, sort of what the public knows about uh, daily fantasy sports. The quarterbacks and wide receivers are very highly correlated. Um, quarterbacks and their tight ends are, are highly correlated as well to the tune of a 0.4 uh, R squared value. Uh, interestingly enough, you know, there are some things that uh, you might not know, which is quarterbacks and opposing quarterbacks have a very, very high correlation in terms of uh, actual fantasy points uh, in terms of 0.67. Obviously, you can't roster two quarterbacks, but it does uh, maybe provide a hint that uh, you know two offenses could be correlated. And uh, since a quarterback and a wide receiver are so highly correlated, uh, perhaps a quarterback and um, the opposing wide receiver one are highly correlated. And we do see uh, it's not maybe as high as we thought, but uh, a quarterback and uh, opposing skill positions uh, do have some positive correlation. Um, but in general, this uh, table is definitely just valuable for tournaments to find some edges to uh, when you're stacking players or stacking a game, you could definitely find some edges and inefficiencies in, uh, in, in your roster construction. Um, and we can actually uh, go here and we can uh, sort by plus minus as well, which is a proprietary metric here at Fantasy Labs, which is uh, actual fantasy points minus expected fantasy points. So there is a salary component, uh, and that does uh, just give a glimpse more into value since it does factor in the pricing of, of these sites and in, um, in their salaries. So uh, it's nice to see how they actually score, but if you factor in plus minus and, uh, and how uh, these players are priced, it does give a, a better indication of value. And then um, perhaps most importantly, which is a really cool feature, we can see the uh, correlation of, of tournament ownership. So a quarterback and his wide receiver are uh, typically very highly owned together, uh, and a quarterback and his wide receiver two typically highly owned, which makes sense that uh, you know a wide receiver two, uh, if you're going to roster him, uh, you know you would also own him with his quarterback. So uh, definitely just a really cool table to get an idea of of the the public and and how they're uh, going about roster construction, especially when it comes to stacks. Um, and we can also do some uh, more research here in terms of uh, the Vegas total and the spread. Uh, so this is just uh, all, all games, and we, we can change the date as well and look at just last year or the last three years. So this is all games from, um, from uh, the beginning of 2014 season, uh, and we can uh, actually restrict the Vegas total so we can say, okay, we only want to look at uh, Vegas uh, totals of 50 or higher. We can update it, and uh, the R squares will... Uh, adjust according to that. We could do it for the spread as well. So um, yeah, it, it definitely uh, makes sense to uh, do some research here and and find it, you know if you're looking at a game uh, that has a really high total or really low total or or whatever or high spread low spread. Uh, if that changes the correlations between positions, because uh, there could be some inefficiencies there that you could exploit in tournaments. Uh, you can look also at uh, specific teams or just the whole NFL if you want as well. So definitely a really, really cool uh, tool here that we have for this upcoming NFL season. Uh, and the last thing we want to show was the correlations between different stats. Uh, so we could look here, uh, let's say we're looking at running backs here, and we can see the, the correlation between uh, a bunch of different stats, the, the plus minus, uh, again, actual fantasy points, uh, season consistency, month consistency. This is just the uh, percentage of uh, times that a player has hit their salary base expectation. So again, it goes back to that plus minus salary component and then tournament ownership. So we can see that actual points does correspond, uh, correlate highly with points per salary, the percentile rank of that. 
uh, which definitely makes sense. It also uh, correlates pretty strongly with market share um, and, and market share percentage. We obviously want running backs who are getting carries, who are getting opportunities, so it makes sense that actual points would uh, correlate really high, but it looks like uh, that is uh, definitely uh, priced in uh, and it has a lower correlation for plus minus. So uh, just really cool tables. You can see uh, all, all the different positions. You can even see defenses and uh, kickers and uh, how, um, you know, uh, actual points of plus minus uh, correlate with Vegas score. You can, you know, obviously restrict to look at uh, different games with high Vegas totals or high spreads, low spreads or however you want. Um, and, and see the correlation between all stats and all positions. So a really cool tool that we're excited to bring to you guys uh, and hope that is useful for you guys this year.